best competition for cash money, young money, we doing versus. What's the best competition out there? Like, okay, we gonna give the people what they want. The money's worth. You picking between like what? No Limit, Death Row, Bad Boy, Quality Control. What you got? I would say the best competition, I would have to go with, I would, I would have to go with Rockefeller. Whoa, I didn't even say that. Rockefeller. Boy, that Jay Z yeah. forces. <laughs> Stop <laughs> he's it. Silly. He's like, that is real. Okay. I, he eat it home. I man. love it. It's Bryce Davis on the check in. As y'all heard, Lil Wayne was asked who he put up against Cash Money Records. He said Rockefeller Records, which makes the most sense because Rockefeller is definitely one of the top five biggest, hottest rap labels that exist. You know, I heard people in the past say No Limit would be a good, you know, matchup against Cash Money. I think that'd be dope too, but you know, Rockefeller also makes sense, even though I don't think they have nearly as many artists as Cash Money. You know, uh, Cash Money definitely has the biggest label we ever seen in rap, in my opinion. You know, Rockefeller had Jay-Z, Kanye West, Memphis Bleak, State Property, The Diplomats, DJ Clue, you know, and Cash Money, you know, they had the Hot Boys. And if you uh, include Young Money, then, you know, you got to throw Drake in there. You got to throw Nicki Minaj in there. You got to throw Tyga in there. So, you know, it's not really too many labels fucking with Cash Money. Like, if you consider all the artists that was ever signed at some point of their career, what? You definitely got to go and Google your homework on that one to see, you know, they might only been signed a year or two, but that counts, it counts. You know, we've seen in verses people play songs just for contributing, whether it's co-producing or ghostwriting. So, you know, I think Cash Money takes that, even though at the end of the day, I think we all want to see Lil Wayne versus Jay-Z, you know, especially when Jay said that nobody stand on stage with him. But, you know, Birdman has said in an interview that he don't want to see Lil Wayne go against nobody. So we'll probably never see that. But if we did, you know, I got to go with my man Jay. Cause, you know, Reasonable Doubt's one of my favorite albums of all time, obviously. And I think Jay's the greatest rapper alive. But, you know, Lil Wayne's definitely still on fire and doing his thing. So, anyway, if you like the video, make sure you like and subscribe.